guys welcome back to my channel the sea of blue behind me is of course ikea we are heading in today for nothing other than the ikea dog if you have seen recently on barney's instagram bless him he's been through it he's had an operation he's got a fairly epic scar down his side talked about it all over there i don't want to go into too much detail but essentially he's had a lump removed and tested and I just want to spoil him. He's my baby and his absolutely number one toy, always has been, probably always will be, is the Ikea dog. That Labrador that they have, he's just obsessed with it. It's his favourite toy. It's looking very grubby. It's got 10 million stitches. It's time for a new one and I thought I would treat him. So I'm obviously not here just for the dog. I did want to show you guys around. They've got some new autumn bits in. I want a bit of home inspo. I'm going to take some snaps maybe whilst I'm in and share them on my Homer account of all my kind of favourite finds. And then of course if I do end up picking up anything up other than the dog, <laughs> I will of course share it with you at the end of this video but not only am I doing all of the above I'm also partnering up with another youtuber for this video so I'm sure you've probably seen her channel before but if you haven't I am partnering with Lisa on this video so I will leave a link to her channel below she's the most gorgeous mum she's so glam she is based in the south so we have different ikeas that we go to different stock potentially different finds so she is also heading off to ikea and she does the best ikea videos they're my favorite make sure to go head over there let her know that you have headed over from my channel say hi to her in the comments and who knows we may be even spying up the same things because i'm definitely heading to the autumn section i think the um i did check online this store this is the warrington one by the way has some of the autumn bits in already they've got like a wreath they've got some pumpkins i'm very excited to have a look anyway so i'm going to take you along let's head on in so it makes me happy that it's raining because i feel like ikea is a good place to go to on a rainy day because it's all under cover cozy homeware shopping and yeah i'm excited to go shopping so i hope you guys enjoy this video thumbs up if you do subscribe for more and let's head on in to shop till we drop and inside we go. So this is the Warrington store. I do have another store near me called the Ashton Underline one. And that is also really, really good. Leeds Burstall I've been to a few times as well. However, of those three, I have found that Warrington tends to have the most stock. And you can always just check online when you are looking for something in particular to check in store so that before you head down you can know exactly if they have what you need in stock. So I knew that this store had a couple of pumpkins and autumn bits so I knew I wanted to check them out. So I just had a browse around the entire store as you do, you get your step count in when you go to Ikea. And I was definitely looking at inspo and ideas for the renovations moving forward. So I took a few snaps. I'm gonna save them, especially for like kitchens. Kitchens is gonna be a big expense for this property as with any property if you're renovating a kitchen. So we have a lot of thinking to do and I was actually really impressed with the range and variety that they have in Ikea. I loved this office chair how beautiful is that it's a real nice neutral beige color the only thing is I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go with a dedicated office space but instead use it more as a filming room because I'm more than likely just gonna edit downstairs you know where Barney's gonna be running around and everything anyway so maybe I'll convince Tom to get that chair for his office anyway moving on loads of gorgeous bedroom designs at this Ikea and walk-in wardrobes for inspiration as well and I'm also thinking about getting a load of new bedding not just duvets and pillowcases but also the actual inners the duvets the pillows themselves the mattresses the beds everything when we move upstairs so I had a quick look there before heading off to the soft toy section and then finally the market hall. Baby, 
Loads of really pretty stone sage greens, kind of touches of autumn throughout the store with all the different natural fibers and textures. And I feel like that they've slightly redesigned in terms of styling up items within the store since I last came. But other than that, most of the stock was fairly similar to last time. So within this sort of autumn section they had some potpourri, some pumpkins, some candles as well that were new in and also I did spot a wreath which was really pretty but other than that there wasn't much more to be seen for the autumn section and I don't believe they'll be getting any more either. I believe that might just be it. Then I moved over to what used to be the bargain corner. I always love a browse around this section and I'm really glad it's at the very end of the store because it's always something to look forward to to see if you can grab a bargain. And I particularly love these ladders as like a towel rail. still raining. Ah, my hair's trapped in the door. So I have a bag full of things. So I did get a few little bits, which I'll obviously share when I get back. Um, and overall it wasn't, I mean, it was busy, but it wasn't as busy as I thought it might be this time. Cause you know, like school's out, school holidays. I'm gonna head back. I just asked Tom if he, what, wait, what he wants for dinner. If he wants me to grab a Mackey's en route, which is right here but he said he's happy with beans on toast tonight. So instead I picked us up some chocolate for dessert. Hi there, can I have a cheeseburger please? Yeah. Um, regular fries. Yeah. And a vanilla milkshake please. Yeah, that's That's it, thank you. Just try to get some of them please. Thanks. Thank I think I panic. You know when you panic order? And I was like, oh, I don't know what I want. I have just cheeseburger and chips. Start to rain again. I actually really like the rain. Okay, so let's talk autumn for a sec whilst we wait because the main one of one of the main reasons I was going to IKEA as well was to look at the autumn range that they brought out. I got an email, I'm on the email notifications, and it was a couple of weeks ago now that they first emailed to say that the autumn stuff is going to be in stock in stores in August. But I wasn't that impressed. I mean, the felt pumpkin was obviously grey. I don't really buy that many grey things. It was nice, but it was quite small. And then the other little mini pumpkins, it came in a set of three. And I thought it was going to just be like a big, um, like a bunch of them, like five or even ten of them as I was shopping around. And then when I saw that it was just three and it was only one pumpkin and then the other two were like a squash. And I was just like, oh, I don't know. And they were like a bluey, greeny colour, bluey grey. And I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave it. I have seen that they do autumn napkins, like paper napkins with a really pretty design on, which I was gonna buy, but I couldn't see any. So I would have bought them, but that was that. And then there was a little tin candle with um, the scent of cinnamon and sugar. And it was nice, but it just didn't look that special. I mean, I've got some really nice looking ones from Home Sense. So I decided to leave it and autumn ran over. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hiya, puppy. Excuse me. How are you doing? How are you doing? I've got you a surprise. Could have guessed. This is no longer. Oh, oh well, maybe we'll keep both for a bit and see how he gets on. We've got Doggy, a friend. Good boy. One doggy, two doggies. 
Oh, careful, no jumping. This is a sign we need to get him a brother. So there is a bit of food that I need to pop in the freezer, so I'll just show you these first. We have some frozen, ready to bake cinnamon rolls. Oh. <laughs> How yummy do these look? I absolutely love cinnamon rolls. These are the Cafe Wrap. Cinnamon buns ready to bake. Nice and fresh with a Sunday morning treat. What do you think, Tommy Lord? I got us this for dessert. Happy with that? Yeah. You're off chocolate. You weren't last night. I'm sure you won't be again tonight. Um, yeah, I thought this looked really yum. King size dime chocolate bar. I got another one of these. These are only like 85p and they're the sauce for the meatballs, which we actually have some meatballs in the freezer. I bought this in the past and really liked it, so I thought I would get another one. I think it's two pounds from memory, two pounds something. And it's the Nada flatbread baking mix. I thought this was really good. Two, oh, two baguettes for 65p, two garlic baguettes so they can go in the freezer excuse me barney and then i got these biscuits for with my morning coffee biscuits with chocolate flavored filling they're like a, the jammy dodgers they do actually have the ones with jam in i thought i would try these ones with the chocolate because they look delish sparkling water that i got in a can do you like that he likes ice anything cold you're not making the best view all you can see is your rubber dinghy around your neck you can tell the difference. This one's fresh out the wash as well. It was manky before. But it's lost some stuffing along the way. And this one's fresh, brand new. And he's gone for the new one. So I also got from the bargain corner section, which is no longer called the bargain corner. It's called the, it's the sustainable circle or something like that. What a way to I know. <laughs> to be honest, I quite like the idea of just bargain corner. But anyway, I thought these would be really good little compartments to have within drawers to separate things. And they're only £2 for the pair. And then whilst I was also in there, I saw these two cushion covers in beige. This kind of chenille bobbly fabric and then this I would say it's like a semi-velour fabric. These were both three pounds each, but I actually intended on repurposing these to uh, put within maybe my little DIY autumn video that I might do in September and make some pumpkins or something with them. Because I actually have one in that fabric. I have two pumpkins actually in this fabric, but in white. So I thought I could do a little mini one next to them. I also found this in the bargain corner. I've actually bought this before for when Barney was a puppy and he destroyed it. So I'm thinking of keeping this one for us. Do you like it? Just like a nice bed throw. Just beige, simple. It's got a little fringing on the edging. It was in the sale for just six pounds. I also bought Tom this because you mentioned previously about getting some nice wooden shoe stretcher things. And I thought in the meantime, what they're called, they're not shoe stretchers, what they're called, shoe tree. Um, in the meantime, until you find some nice wooden ones rather than stuffing them with newspaper, you could have these. They're only a pound for the pair. Nice. You're welcome. You. <laughs> and then I also got us two more wine glasses because you can never have enough of these. I think we've only got two and these are the red wine ones but i quite like them for whatever really to be honest with you i just love the shape again i think they're about one pound fifty then i got two mixing bowls and these were again just a couple of pounds in white and they've got a little pourer at the end as well and they've got like a non-slip grip at the bottom um two different sizes just really handy to have we lack big mixing bowls so i thought that'd be good to have in our kitchen and then i also got these i've always seen these and i never pick them up they do them in orange but also these ones cappuccino anna's cappuccino thins look biscuits and then last but not least ending on the best purchase some zip up bags so yeah, not a huge IKEA shop. Lots of inspo for um, the renovations moving forward. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog footage. Don't forget to go over and check Lisa's video out. I'm sure she's found some amazing bits. She's the queen of shopping at IKEA and she does lots of interiors and homeware type videos very similar to mine so i'm sure you will love her videos if you haven't 
seen them yet so be sure to head over to her channel i will leave a link to her channel in the description box below i hope you enjoyed watching this video give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe for more and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys that was barney's tail saying goodbye <laughs>